future, I may hope to be married. <laughs> I mean, I know it might sound ridiculous to my friends, but it doesn't. Oh. Well, um, I mean, I've already made myself happy. I mean, because I am in films. And, um, uh, well, there's nothing quite like it. I feel like I'm living in a prison. There are so many things I may not experience. I cannot go swimming. Can't visit relatives. Can't get a job. Can't have a boyfriend. I see so much of life I cannot have. I am living in a veritable prison. Can you got a dollar hair gel? Believe, can you believe it? I didn't pay for it. I can see it now in the light, what they did. Is that good? Was it worth it? Oh, God, no. <laughs> I would didn't pay for it. Someone else paid for it. I didn't pay for anything. I never have. I don't have to. I never pay for a thing. I never pay rent. I never buy my own clothes. I don't pay for anything. I put it all in the bank. The reality. She wouldn't deal with it. And you're only the star of an Andy Warhol movie, and as we all know, Andy Warhol, too, you know, we're not talking MGM here. I mean, you get $25 a scene for Andy Warhol. Everything else is, you know, your next meal is, is it coming from hopefully being invited to a party or, you know, hope, then, you know, you meet rich people and they take you out to dinner. And then the next morning you're eating what's left over from the, the dinner from the night before. As a hustler, Candy was an ace. I think Candy, in order to survive, she was a survivor, would go into a lot of things that she didn't talk about. No, she never did that. No, I'm telling you, no, they're wrong. She didn't do that. She didn't have to do that. Too many people love giving her money because she was so fabulous. I know about the Johns and everything else. I used to go with her when I first met her, and she used to see this guy in this big modern building. I used to have to wait down the lobby for her, and she used to you know, be up there for like an hour and then come down. She'd say, God damn it all, he didn't give me what I wanted. She used to scream and carry on about that because she felt she shouldn't. I know, she hated it man who becomes a 25-year-old woman is not a woman at all because a woman first has to be a little girl. Okay, a man first has to be a boy. Candy was never a girl. Candy was a fantasy. She created herself. If you called Candy a he, it was a flinch. Like with me, if I hear he, it's a flinch. It's like someone slapping you in the face. You have to accept a transgender person's perception of what they are or you are disrespecting their gender. And that is really wrong. And to those people that want to call Candy a he, you are a transphobe and you shut your mouth. I am an irresistible magnet with the power to attract unto myself everything that I divinely desire according to my thoughts, feelings, and the mental pictures I constantly entertain and radiate. I am the center of my universe. There was a it was so beautiful and real. It had a very sobering effect on me. There's a tremendous earnestness in wanting to be another gender. I mean, what's more earnest than that? And naive. I mean, I think it's tremendously naive, especially a man who wants to be a woman. You know, I mean, keep your winning hand. I've been up all night, alone, wondering about my identity, trying to look for an explanation for living this strange, stylized sexuality. Realization cuts feeling off. I try to explain my identity as being a male who has assumed the attitudes and somewhat the emotions of a female. I'm home and I'm very tired, thinking all day about candy. Terry showed me some pictures of Candy, and Candy was 14 or so. 
Candy looks so incredibly adorable and sexy for a little boy. Candy always had very good legs. I picture her as a little boy showing her legs off to the best advantage. Sneakers and heavy white socks and her long legs. Beautiful Darling is the story of Candy Darling. He was known as a transgendered icon. He passed away when he was 29 of lymphoma. The cancer was caused by the estrogen he took. His friends called him a survivor, theatrical, different, interesting, revolutionary, phony, hustler, trick, fabulous. Some said he lived in a fantasy world. He jumped couches and lived in cheap flea bag motels. He said he did not know happiness. He knew despair, loneliness, and longing. I have no man to love me, so nothing else matters. <laughs>